Have you ever wondered why some websites just feel more polished than others? One small but powerful technique that a lot of designers use to create better user experiences is micro interactions. In this video, we're gonna go over six micro interactions that can have a big impact on the feel and usability of your website. Let's get into it. So the first interaction that we're gonna talk about is this portfolio lists Webflow. And this is by Timothy Ricks, a legend in the YouTube Webflow space. I'm gonna leave the links to all the clonables down in the description. So this first one here is a very simple list where as you scroll down, you get an individual click. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me boot up the sound here, but you get that very satisfying click, almost like an old projector or something like that. And also as you scroll through these individual words or these, these topics, this could be portfolio pieces, this could be different projects you've worked on, different customers, things like that. You get an animation or it could be a simple image, project, detail, something like that. And this is a very powerful thing that a lot of designers use to entice users to actually click on the project and look at what they've actually done. So this is an incredibly powerful clonable, but not as powerful as our second one here, the scroll effects, scroll interactions here. And this is also a clonable, but what this does is that it shows you a lot of different ways where you can have custom scroll interactions. And this is just a grouping of a bunch of them. But as you click into the individual ones, you'll start to see that there is individual interactions for every single one. So if you go back here to the stretch scroll, as we scroll, we see that there is a, a small interaction there that's happening. And the further you scroll, the more powerful that animation or the interaction becomes. So we can see more of that effect happening. There's a bunch of these different ones, but these types of interactions are seen a lot with Webflow and awards worthy sites. And this is an easy way to kind of hack your way in there without going through all the work of actually learning these things. So sites like this one is a great resource to catch these interactions and add them into your project without having to do all the actual work. Now, this is another really powerful one, part of this entire showcase here, but this is a, a video scroller or a scrubber as you scroll down. So this is super, super cool. And again, all of this is available inside of Webflow for free. These are all Webflow native components and clonables. The next one here is a timed automatic slider. Now sliders are usually very boring, right? They have an arrow and a bunch of different images and you can click, 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 and it'll just move past it. But this slider takes it to a new level. So we've got two individual components here. We've got the text, and we've got the image in the background. So the text can slide in through the left here, and then the image does that cool twirl onto the page. Now, not only do we have the automatic timer, but we also have this arrow here that we can click and it can move at any point we want. And it will also do the animation that we see here that shows us how much time is left until the next one passes over. So this could be used on portfolios, on CMS, on e-commerce, pretty much any site where you have a slider, maybe for team images, something like that, where it's usually a bit boring. This is a great way to get people to be more enticed into what you're showing. Now, the next one here is one of my favorites out of all of them. So apart from the, the side scroll happening over here, this is one of my favorite parts of this entire video. So usually you have this interaction here where you have the page seamlessly go on to another page and you're left wondering how on earth do they do that? Do they color the background, the body on the specific color and they have this animation? How, how do they do that, right? Well, with this clonable, you can see that it's a small snippet a little piece of code here, and you can essentially create pages that seamlessly move on to the next page. So it feels like you're still on the same page as you go on to the next one. This is super valuable because it keeps people concentrated on your work, on your page, on your entire experience that you've created and you put in so much work in. This is super, super powerful. And the user, Kevin Haig here, has a lot of great work. So I recommend that you guys check out his profile in the description as well. And I recently covered this interaction as well on the Flux channel. So I'll leave a link down below for, or up here you guys can check out that video that I did for them. But this is another incredible interaction that you guys can take a look at and see exactly how it's done using the clonable. So I recommend that you guys check out Kevin Haig's work, always top tier. So recently this portfolio had been featured all over the web design world. And there's a couple of reasons why. We have this incredible transition, which we can see from this last sliding page transition that I talked about, but we also have this nav here. So this nav is quite great because we go from home, work, archive, and about, and it doesn't matter which one I click on, the slider on the bottom moves all the way over to the next tab. And this is super hard to do. But with this clonable here from, again, Timothy Ricks, we can see that he's managed to do it. And I think this was an older design that Kirschberg had done, but it's the same idea. Basically, we have this button and it moves around individually depending on the amount of 
tabs that we have. And a cool thing about this is that because it's a clonable, we can see exactly how it's done. Now, thankfully, Timothy Ricks also has a YouTube channel, so you can go ahead and see exactly how we did it. And I'll leave a link to all the resources down below. But having this type of transition natively in Webflow is absolutely insane. Now, I'm sure that there's a little bit of custom code in here, but nothing too crazy. Now, lastly, I want to showcase this incredible daily direction done by another legend, Joseph Berry. And here we have a collection of very, very smooth micro interactions that can be added on to your own project here in the clonable. If I go ahead and click on open in Webflow, we can see exactly how it's built. But these individual components are quite niche, right? We have this button where, I mean, maybe that's not that niche, but we've got these menus here. We've got a hamburger menu. We've got this plus icon where it opens up to the different socials. We also have this let's go. So we can see how all of these are individually built. And the cool thing about it is because someone like Joseph Berry created this, you can see exactly how his brain works with this type of interaction, animation, whatever you want to call it. So we can see that here we've got the button hover and we can see everything that's going on in here, right? So we've got the parent of the button. We've got the two text blocks that are inside there. And all of that is moved around in this animation. I'm not going to get into it too much here, but we can see that with this clonable, it's super easy to implement these very, very professional looking interactions into your project. So your own projects can feel this polished. Now, let me know which one of these clonables you guys enjoyed in the comments down below. I personally really liked the first one here, which is this very simple scrolling and the image appears on the left side, but you can do this with any side, obviously. So I personally like that one, but let me know which one you guys enjoyed personally down below, because these are all completely, completely different. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this, let me know, leave a like, subscribe, do all that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.